Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how you can do client to server streaming using SignalR. A streaming is used when you have a large amount of data and you want to send them over the network in real time. In this scenario, we want to send a large amount of data from client to server. It, it's going to be a large text file and to receive it on the server side, I want to break it down into chunks. Each chunk is actually one line of this text file and gets uh, received on the server one by one. So let's go and do it. In my solution, I have two projects. One of them is a Windows Form application that I'm using for my client side. And the other one is an ac.net core 3.1 application that I'm using for the server side. In my server side, I have a stream hop, which is a hop in signal R and receives the data from the client. My client side application is very simple. I put the path of my text file here and I click on upload button. Then here I am sending the text file line by line using this read line method. This read line method uses file stream and stream reader and to read each line of text file separately and when I read each line of the file I use yield return and I async normal to send that line over the network to my server side application so your client side application has to return an I async normal which is a new uh, async collection and you can use it only on .NET Core 3.0 and C Sharp 8 and later versions. So if you are working on a legacy code, this is maybe not available to you. There are other ways to do this, but this is the most easiest way and the most preferred way in my idea. So let's use it for now. Going back to my send async method, by the way, I'm using the connection to my signal R, which is uh, configured here. And then I'm... Mm, starting the connection on my form load then i am using send async to send this data in a streaming fashion to this method over the network to my server side on my server side i have a streaming hub and this is inherited from hub and i have the same method here Notice that you have to have the same naming in order to call a method from client and to server. And I am, I am receiving data using this IAC number. And each line is uh, received in an asynchronous way. So I can do anything with it using a wait for each. This is uh, this comes with iAsync normal. So if you are using async normal, this is the way you can use data inside this collection. Uh, I am sending the received data back to the clients just to sh to show you how it works and visualize data. But usually you are going to uh, write this data down into your server side. You are receiving a file text file and you are uh, going to download it into a folder mm, so maybe you want to write uh, save the data to your hard disk but in my case I am just sending it back to clients and uh, do some visualization so you can understand what is happening so let's run the projects so as you can see, most of my applications are running. This is my server side application and this is my client side. I am sending a book over the network and this book is called Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. You can download it legally free from internet. Uh, I just do a simple search on Google and you will find it. Uh, just uh, to show you how it works, I need to open another client. And this is this is my second client application and this is my base and so let's do it i upload and i have reading the first line to reinforce line and um, 
so on and uh, data gets sent from my client to my server uh, to here and it sends it back to all other clients that are up and running and my other client is this one and it maybe some lines are empty but uh, we don't care about that right now so i receive each line on the other side and it goes on forever as you can see i am reading each line separately and sending it one by one i don't have to read the whole 50 kilobytes of text data uh, and send it over network at once uh, i'm reading it one by one and do it in very simple fashion in case you are interested in downloading the source code you can go to my github which is code hacks and use this pass to get to my stream demo project Mm, and notice that uh, you have to be on uh, a stream branch, a stream 4 branch to see the exact same sample code. I've done other tests and uh, experiments here and it may not work and the stream 4 is what you are looking for. Thank you for watching and if you like this, please let me know and have fun coding.